This is the Samsung Galaxy A72 disassembly. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. Let's start off by removing the SIM tray. Once the SIM tray is removed, we're going to use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat up the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at your plastic back plate. At this point, there are 17 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we can go ahead and lift up and remove the top plastic cover. Taking a better look at this plastic cover, we can see the NFC antenna is located right over here. On the other side, your earpiece speaker is located right here, and you have a sheet of graphite over here which helps transfer heat. Once we have access to the battery cable, we're going to go ahead and disconnect that. Next, we're going to remove the speaker assembly. There's also a graphite sheet over the speaker assembly over here. Next, we're going to disconnect this flex cable over here, which connects the main board to the subboard over here, as well as the screen cable over here. Now we're going to disconnect this blue and white wire cables from over here and over here by just popping them off. Now it's time to disconnect the front facing camera. There are two more Phillips screws which need to be removed. There is one located over here which is holding on the main board and one over here holding on the charger port board. Now we can lift up and remove the main board. So taking a closer look at the main board, there's a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens located over here on top. Your 64 megapixel main camera with OIS is located right over here. Your 8 megapixel telephoto camera is located right here, which also has OIS. And your 5 megapixel macro lens is located right over here. You also have your LED flash located right here. And your secondary microphone is located over here on top. Taking a look at the back, you have your SIM card and memory card reader located over here. And the other two connectors for the camera is located over here on the back. And the camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. The proximity sensor is located over here on top and there's a graphite pad over here over the shield. Once we peel back the graphite pad, we can see a thermal pad over here, which sits on top of the processor over here. Now we're gonna disconnect the fingerprint reader cable located over here on the bottom. Once we have that disconnected, we can lift up and remove the subboard on the bottom. Taking a look at the subboard, you can see a charger port located over here and your headphone jacks located right here. Your main microphone is also located right over here. And here's a look at the other side. Most replacement screen assemblies come with the mid-frame pre-attached. However, if you get a screen assembly without the mid-frame and you need to replace your screen, once you remove your back plate and top and bottom covers and remove the speaker assembly on bottom, you would have access to your screen cable which is located right over here. At that point, you would go ahead and heat up the phone from the front side where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen and then you would pry your screen off your mid-frame you get your new screen, apply new adhesive, making sure you run your screen cable back through the opening over here, and then you attach your screen and reassemble your phone. As for the battery, there are no easy pull tabs, so you are gonna need some isopropyl alcohol to help you pry the battery off. You need to get some of the isopropyl alcohol around the edges of the battery and let it sit for about a minute so it eats away at the adhesive, and then you'd use a plastic pry tool to pry the battery off. Here's a better look at your battery. On the top portion of the mid-frame underneath the main board, you have a 3D layer of graphite over here, which helps transfer heat away from the components. Your vibrator motor is located over here, and you have the flex cable over here for your power button and volume keys. There's also a rubber gasket with mesh filter over here on bottom where the speaker opening is. As far as repairability goes, I give this phone an 8 out of 10. It's not very difficult to take apart, but the only problem you run into is where the battery is since it doesn't have any easy pull tabs. You are going to need some isopropyl alcohol to help you pry that battery off. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together.
Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your backplate. Then go ahead and flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.